Good, good morning. morning. Thank you for tuning in for 7 for 7. God is so good. Yes, he is. Amen. Uh, let's go to the throne. Heavenly Father, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we praise you. We magnify you. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you loved us so much that you sent Jesus, who died on the cross for us. Now, Lord, help us re represent and represent who you are. In Jesus' name, Lord, in impact us as the body of Christ so that we can stand, yes, so Lord. that we can deliver, Hallelujah. Lord, uh, your word, so that we can deliver, Lord, in every walk of life, Lord, a representation that gives you all honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God is good. You know, we've been talking about beginning again, and, 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 and oftentimes in this life, we need to come back to the place of beginning again. Uh, in the third chapter, it says, uh, was, we were talking about, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. No man can do these things, these miracles that does not accept God be with him. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter in to the second time into his mother's womb? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. You know, the salvation experience is, is the most pivotal purpose of the kingdom. Amen. Because God wants to expand the kingdom. Yes, he does. And we as saints need to work to get others saved. Amen. But we also have to keep on the helm of salvation yeah, because we sometimes do. we forget, you know, how we walk and talk Amen. in salvation or how you should react in salvation. Yes. You know, uh, you know, before we're saved, Sinners are blind. We're blind, unable to view the things from above. You know, you talk to some people and they just don't get it, right. right? And we live in a time when the devil might even try to deceive the very elect, right? Yeah. Sinners are bound. They are restricted to their earthly possessions and promises, and pro problems, and amen. amen? And then they're burdened. They're weighed down with fear, doubt, and unbelief. That's right. You know, because Jesus is the beginning of all things. And once you receive Christ into your life, things become new. It says old things are passed away and all things become new. And in uh, John 1 and 1, it's, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen? And so uh, we need to understand that Jesus has always been there, even for, before you received him. But once you do, how it comes to life for you, because God has always been, you know, uh, like it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He's always been there, uh, and he's uh, and he's always going to be there for whatever it is and, and whatever the situation is in our life. And we need to just learn about him and learn to trust him and grow in his Word, amen? Because the more of God's Word that you learn, the more of the Word you get into you, the more of God you have in you. Your characteristics change, your attitude changes, the way you walk changes, the way you do things changes, your outlook on different things changes, the things that you used to think were okay begin to offend you huh? if they go against uh, what the Word of God says. Things just change in your life. If you, When you get saved and you are really saved and seeking after the king, you don't get to do the same things that you used to do and just be okay. The Holy Spirit will convict you of certain things and the things that you used to do, you realize, hmm, that really wasn't a good thing. Or I didn't even feel bad about it then, but now that does something to me. I need to change that. I need to stop that. And so we need to allow the word of God to get into us. Spend all the time you can in the word and in prayer because that brings you closer to the things of God. You know, you know, we're living in a time, uh, you know, truly we're living in the end times. Yes. And, 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 hear this, it's not the beginning of the end. 
-hmm. It's the the end end of the end. end. Because the beginning of the end began on the day of Pentecost. And, and, you know, sometimes people want to act like you got forever. Now, tomorrow's not promised to anybody. But let me tell you something. Today, later on, it's not promised. The next moment is not promised, right? right. So we have to get to the place that we just get our lives right. And one of the things that the Lord has been just saturating my heart with is that, you know, spend more time in prayer. Spend more time seeking him. Spend more time pressing in. And so, and so I've just been yielding myself to the king. And, and as I'm hearing the voice of God, as I'm hearing God speak and shift the dynamics, I understand that it is not about me, but it is about kingdom business. It's about so that, so that I can be utilized to help others get saved. It's about that he can purge me and my mind. You know, and, and, and we have to develop an ear to hear. There was something that I was working on, and the Lord kept speaking to me to do something a particular way. And he kept speaking to me a long, prolonged period of time. And, and, and I kept thinking that I was, I was going to do it the old way. <laughs> Come on. You know, the old way I used to do it. And, 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 and then when it came time, I just yielded to the Lord. And then that nudging or that, you know, prodding lifted and helped me to understand that I indeed, you know, I mean, sometimes it's just the process. You know, when I say the old way, sometimes we have an old process of the way we do Amen. some things. And and in your mind, that process may not be wrong. And it may not be wrong, or, but, but the reality is it may not be the way God wants it to be. Amen. And so we have to be able to yield ourselves to the Lord and let God take control and know that in when he makes all things new, we got to be able to follow him in his newness because it's about kingdom business. Amen. And so, you know, it's important that we pay attention to what the Word of God says. Like Pastor Ron says, God doesn't always do things the same way. Because some of us think that we know his pattern and we can figure him out and we know what he's going to do and how he's going to do. You know, God usually doesn't do things the same way all the time. Amen. Because he wants you to be open to follow him. If he changes his mind, you have to go with God. I mean, if he changes what uh, the way that he's leading, if God is going straight and then he turns, you need to turn when he turns. And so sometimes we have to get out of the habit of always thinking, well, this is the way it's going to work. No, only God knows the way that it's going to work. So as we grow and you seek God and you spend time in prayer, be open to allowing God to do new things in your life. Uh, be able to receive the changes or the turns or the ups or the downs or whatever he's taking you through. He's taking you through for a reason. So we need to be able to receive God in that. And we want you guys to just have a blessed day. And we will see you tomorrow at 747.